So I want to talk a little um, uh, about uh, some, of the, some of the challenges um, uh, that we're facing uh, here. We're, we're at, a, at a very exciting time, uh, a major transition uh, in the technological platform that's, that industries are using um, uh, to harness their data. Um, and it's worth uh, looking uh, forward a little uh, and making sure that, that this develops uh, as, we, as we hope it will. Um, so first, uh, I'd like to talk a little about how we got here. Uh, I think there's three strong trends uh, that, that have brought us here. Um, uh, first and, and foremost, uh, probably, uh, has been the incredible improvement in hardware capabilities uh, we've seen uh, that, that's gone on for 50 years now, um, with, with uh, Moore's Law recently enjoying that anniversary. Um, and uh, it's, it's given us a phenomenal amount of hardware so that we can now treat computation as a, as a mass noun uh, rather than as uh, thinking about individual computers. Uh, we can, we can deploy, deploy thousands of them uh, to attack a, a single problem. Um, we also have, in this process of deploying all this, this hardware, uh, learned the value of the data uh, that it generates um, and, its, and its ability to give us insight uh, into our businesses, into our operations, into our customers, um, into the, the environment that we operate in uh, so that we can better understand what we're doing uh, and then improve um, uh, and advance our businesses. And we're seeing uh, industry after industry transformed and effectively becoming uh, an IT industry. And the, the last uh, element, I think, that's, that's driven this um, has been uh, open source software. Uh, has, has really um, permitted more people uh, to deploy software more easily with more confidence uh, that, that the terms are not going to change um, uh, that they're using it under um, uh, over, over time. And they can, they can trust the software um, uh, to be uh, supported and, and developed and improved um, uh, for years and decades even. Uh, so, so combining all these, um, we've seen this new platform evolve that we've been hearing a lot about here at the conference. Um, uh, and it's, it's really a better way of uh, handling our data. Uh, it's uh, not only uh, more, uh, more cost effective, um, uh, but it's, it's far more powerful uh, and, uh, and more flexible, um, permitting folks to develop new applications quickly um, and uh, change existing applications much more easily uh, th than in prior generations. Um, but moreover, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a radically different uh, ecosystem architecture uh, with no central control. Uh, it can continue to improve and change at fundamental levels. Um, we've seen new components continue to be added um, uh, uh, through, through the years, um, uh, sometimes even replacing uh, core elements. Uh, we, we've seen, uh, for example, Spark begin to replace uh, Hadoop's MapReduce. Um, and I think this is a, is a great success uh, of this ecosystem, uh, that without central control, it can be freed to evolve and improve um, uh, continuously um, and much faster. Uh, than, than prior generations of technology. Uh, so we, we've achieved a certain amount of success here. Um, uh, I believe this platform has become the new default way that, that people are developing new applications uh, for data. Uh, but in many ways, it's like an election. Uh, we, we've, we've been elected, uh, and that's, that's uh, a challenge in itself. But now we need to live up to the promises that we've made. Uh, and that's even harder, I believe. Uh, and, and so now let's, let's look at a few of the challenges uh, that we now have. Um, first, it's, it's still a very young family of technologies. Um, uh, it, it, th there's a lot of, uh, of work that needs to be done to, to make all of these different tools work together well. Um, uh, many, many points of integration uh, that, that have yet to be added. Um, uh, fortunately, um, there's, there's been a lot of work on addressing this, on, on uh, you know, making, fixing all the bugs, um, uh, making things easier to deploy uh, and run. Uh, and and we're, we're see we've seen real progress on this. And I'm, I'm fairly confident uh, that we, we can um, make this into the sort of reliable technology platform that, that people really expect. Um, another huge issue that, that we face uh, is simply having enough people uh, who are skilled in using these new tools. Um, uh, and, and this is a, an ongoing challenge. The usage is, uh, is doubling. Uh, roughly annually, and has been for, for the last five years. Um, so the demand for people uh, needs to ne is, has grown proportionally, uh, and uh, we, ne we need to address this uh, through, through training programs 
Um, uh, Clutter has uh, been working with over 100 universities. Uh, we've trained 40,000 people so far, uh, and uh, we're eager to work uh, with more institutions um, uh, to advance um, people in learning about, about these technologies. Uh, and, uh, the next challenge I want to talk about is, is simply the, the complexity. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a, a simple system. Uh, it's inherently much more uh, uh, convoluted than, than pri prior generations of technology. Um, we've got more kinds of data uh, in, a, in a single place. Uh, we've got more tools that can process and analyze that data. And we've got more groups sharing uh, this, this a single copy of the data. And all of these things combine uh, to create something um, which can be very difficult to manage um, and create a, a host of, of new problems. Um, there are some, some technical uh, ways we can address this. We can try to build uh, more uh, common data formats. Um, uh, and I'm very interested in, in uh, formats like Avro and Parquet, um, which allow interoperability uh, across the stack. Um, we also need tools to address things like lineage and audit um, uh, so that you can see what's been done and, and folks can get a handle. Um, data discovery is another important challenge here in these systems. Uh, another area of complexity is security. Um, nearly every component in the ecosystem started out with uh, next to no security, um, uh, where anyone could read or write anything. Uh, and gradually, we've, we've improved this. Um, uh, we, we've con continued to um, add uh, authentication uh, and finer and finer grained uh, authorization uh, to, to each of these tools. And this challenge, though, continues. Uh, we, we've recently added uh, support for encryption uh, everywhere in the stack. Um, and we're, we're still, though, adding uh, good security features to newer tools uh, like Spark and Kafka. Uh, and it will remain an ongoing challenge uh, to, to keep this system uh, something that, that folks can depend on uh, to, to not reveal things uh, inadvertently. Uh, and uh, you know, even more important, I believe, than, than security is building systems that people trust. Um, as we start to collect more data, much of this data concerns people's lives. Um, and uh, people are concerned uh, that we, we might use this data inappropriately. Uh, and uh, I think it, could, uh, it can easily be the case that um, uh, laws will, will develop to prohibit building uh, uh, lots of applications that might be valuable. Uh, and that would, that would be a shame. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's our responsibility in the industry to build systems that people trust uh, and to build confidence in users uh, that we're, we're not abusing that trust, um, that we're, we're building systems that, that respect their data, respect them, uh, and, and use things uh, responsibly. So uh, you know, a, a key way to do this, uh, to, to get started anyway, is to operate transparently, uh, to tell everyone what data about them we're storing, how we're using it, um, and let them then decide whether uh, that's something they want to happen. Uh, people don't like to be surprised after the fact um, uh, by, by uses of their data. Uh, so I think this is a tremendous challenge that we don't spend enough time talking about as an industry. Uh, I encourage you to think about this, about the, the ethics of the systems you're building um, as, as you go forward. Um, the, the last challenge I want to mention is simply the, the, the rate of change. Um, all of these uh, technologies are continue, continuing to change. As I mentioned, uh, the ecosystem itself is evolving. Um, and that creates a challenge for all of us. We need to now be learning new things all the time. The hardware platform continues to change. We're seeing new memory architectures uh, come out. Uh, Intel's got a, a new generation which is going to radically change uh, the economies of, of the hardware um, and drive uh, changes in the, in the software as well. Um, we've got changes in deployment uh, through clouds and containers. Um, and all of these things uh, make it harder for us to adapt, but, but we must to keep up uh, with this to, to really get full advantage of it. Um, and I'm, I'm confident that we can rise to meet these challenges, uh, that we can, we can build um, the, the systems we need uh, to build the, the smart nations that we have to become. Uh, we're, we've got a lot of other challenges in society in this century. We've got aging populations. We need improvements in health care. Um, we have uh, climate change that needs improvements in transportation and energy, uh, and so on down the line. Um, we'd, we'd like to, as, as people become more productive, we need to develop new knowledge-based industries. 
um, and, uh, and so on. And I, and I think this platform uh, can do this. Um, and uh, anyway, I, I um, look forward to seeing this uh, happen over the next uh, century. So thank you.